Hey guys, it's Z with another it's a weekly update. And yeah, not much to update on. I mean the weather's been crappy. I got sick early last week during the weekend and then it kinda went over to the following beginning of the week and I'm still recovering. My nose still gets stuffy, my throat still gets stuffy. Um so I didn't really get much done. Uh I pretty much what I do. I I was on the clips forums all week. Uh I did some video responses to you know, fellow YouTubers, and uh, slowly worked on some things here. I was able to, um, you know, apply some paint onto these things. I was able to work on the pieces of the Hyper Bazooka, and you guys will see, you guys will see that uh, in the pictures on the Gundam Eclipse. I'm not going to really talk about this here, um, except the fact that I ran out of this spray can. Oh, uh, Tummy is TS30, uh, TS63 NATO Black. I love this black. It's like. It's a matte, it's like a flat black, it's matte basically, it's a, it's a flat black with a, you know, it's got kind of a polished sheen to it, so, therefore it's matte. I'm just dropping things, so not on a very good page today. Um, and I like it, but I ran out. Uh, how did I run out? Well, I mean, my, there, there was this model kit, this model kit that I had that, uh, back at the house, that I would use to test spray cans and stuff. And I basically went crazy because I just liked the way it looked so much. I basically covered the entire um, plane because of what it was. It was a it was a it was like an F-18 or something, and it was like this big. And I sprayed the entire thing, not realizing that I pretty much killed half of that stuff. And then I'll, I'll, also on top of that, here I've been doing I've been doing test sprays, and then actually when it came down to this, I ran out. I was like, what the hell? But anyway, I need to get more of that stuff. Six bucks. Hopefully, I'll be able to do that this week. And I plan to get two because I really like the way it looks. And I plan to use it on my Mushu Gundam Mark II as well. Um, so yeah, and I need to cover up you know, this piece and then the other weapons that come with the Unicorn Gundam. And um, when it gets here, High Grade Universal Century Sinandru. Now, I mentioned that um, I might have canceled it, but there was some confusion and I didn't, you know, I ended up just not canceling it. And it's on the way, it just got shipped from. I been in Japan yesterday, so it's coming over, um, and I'm excited because it's supposedly going to be the it's supposedly the high grade of the year because you get a whole bunch of things for what you're paying for, and it's very close to the master grade. Um, so you know, all that aside, I'll you know I'll update you guys with these pieces on the Eclipse form, and um, maybe on my Burst Eclipse channel. Um, as far as Raphael goes. As far as Raphael goes, um, I started the torso, started, and um, I realized, you know what, the backpack is probably the, the, the biggest assembly that I'll do the less work on, so I'm going to get rid of that first. Um, maybe panel line here and there, black panel line here and there, but I'm going to work on that. There is that piece that needs the red on it, so that at least I'll do a little bit of painting because I'm not going to leave that plain. Um, some black panel lining here and there maybe and uh not gonna no i'm not gonna paint it at all because i'm supposed to paint it later on so i'm just gonna put it all together and then you know i'll just you know I'll, I'll record all that happening um and that's that's as far as Raphael goes i'm gonna work on it later on when i get back home from work today um and that's it no 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 that's not it market wise um <clears throat> some of you might already know some of you might not but I've already placed the pre-order for Master A Double Quanta. Uh, as far as whether I follow through with that pre-order depends on how things turn out with the website, uh, their pricing, and where I am financially, and where I want to, what I want to do with my with my finances in December. Because this this the store that I ordered from is actually local. It's in San Jose. There's one in San Jose um, that you can actually go to and pick up your stuff from. Uh, so they won't be getting their Quanta at the release date. They'll be getting it, you know, December, late December, close to Christmas. So it'll be perfect. Like, if I ha if I have the money and decide to use that money for the model kit, I'll just stick I'll just stick with it and go over to San Jose and pick it up. Uh, if I don't, if I want to use it for something else, then you know it's just a pre order. I'm not gonna pick it up. Uh, let's see, yeah, that should be it. So Sanaju is coming. Um, made my pre-order for Quanta, and yeah, that's it. Uh, model kit wise, you already, you guys already know that all that stuff. Now, you know this this week has hasn't really much. I haven't really been able to do much. Obviously, 
weather has been crappy. I mean, if you, if you live in the Bay Area, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, weather's been crappy. You didn't really get to do much done. Um, I was going to do a uh, video review of Paranormal Activity 2, uh, which, you know, some of you might have a bitterness to that movie, but I think those movies are fun. Um, they're not scary in the sense where, like, you think about it and it's like, oh, crap. It's, it's a documentary style movie based on, you know, some of the superstitional things that happen in reality, whether they do or not, with, you know, a Hollywood, you know, taste to it just to make a fun movie. Um, and that's all it is, really. I would not buy a DVD or a Blu-ray and enjoy it at home. Maybe if I, maybe I'm one, of, maybe if I'm one of those guys that, you know, invite my, that constantly invite like a whole bunch of friends over and like, hey, let's watch this movie and have fun. And, um, it's a movie you definitely need to see in the theaters and experience only in theaters, and that's about it because that's that's all it is. It's a thrill ride. And I was gonna do a review of it, but I was like, no, I'm by myself and I'm not in a very good condition, and I haven't thought about like what I want to do for the, for the video because I wanted it to be like what I did last year. If you guys were there, you know what I did. It was my friend and I who were kind of doing. It wasn't gonna be. <coughs> it wasn't gonna be a video review act like exactly, but rather the two of us messing around with the idea, and uh, you know just trying to set everybody up for the Halloween um, mood. And if you want to see that video, I'm gonna provide a link up there. Uh, it's it's it was fun. It really was fun doing that video. I mean, if you're good and if you're smart, you can figure out how we did everything. It wasn't all that hard at all. But it was just it was just fun doing it, and I want to do it again. And, you know, if I do it, you guys will see it. Uh, obviously, I'm by myself now. My friend is doing his own thing nowadays. He's hanging with his girlfriend. I don't want to bother him. So I'm going to try my best to, I guess, entertain you guys with this video by myself. I'm probably going to watch the video looking at it. I'm like, man, that stuff is... I'm, I'm hoping that I'm able to watch the video, look at it, and be like, I'm freaking myself out just watching it. Um, Anyway, because I kind of freaked myself out watching the uh, the video my friend and I made last year. But anyway, all that aside, I've got three questions to answer, and then I'm done with the, well, I'm done with this update video. Um, the first one's from the CH Dubs. I hope that's how you say it. Uh, first question is: Now that more episodes have come out, are you still interested in watching Kamen Rider O's? And if not, why? I'm not interested. Um, I have no interest at all, and I don't mean to sound very dirty, but I just don't care for O's at the moment. Uh, my overall biggest phases right now, which is Gundam and gaming, is just completely just over, just overcoming everything else around. Like I'm playing games more, I'm focusing on these small kids more, I'm watching Gundam more, and um, you know what? There's like there's other figures that I'm interested in still, like Transformers figures, for example, and I'm just not buying them. Because one, I've learned to be money efficient, and uh, two, the rarer figures that everyone wants in my area seem to be more not so rare. So I have no problem. I won't be having any problems finding it. To be honest, Toys R Us has Rodimus Minor as a peg warmer. Can you believe that? Anyway. Um, so I'm not interested. Why? Because of that. Because all the other things that I'm doing, Gundam, work, gaming, I just don't have the time to do it. Um, Gundam Legacy Extreme. Your, what's your personal opinion on custom paint jobs and kit bashing? Would you do a kit bash or personal color slash recolor? A kit if you had the money and chance. Also, what's your opinion on the Gunpla Beginner, Gunpla Builder Beginning G series? So, I haven't seen a single thing on it. I only model kits, and I don't care. That's... I don't think it's Gundam. I don't think it's very Gundam, you know? It's like Pokemon. Gundam Pokemon. If... Yeah, I'm not interested in it. I am interested in the suit design. That's about it. But, uh... As for the series, can't say I'm interested. Um... <coughs> personal opinion on custom paint jobs and kit bashing. Um, I say if you can do it, go for it. Because you, you, you can only get so far... You know, building straight out of the box, panel lining, and things like that. You can only go so far with that. And if you're really serious about Gundam modeling, you would take the chance to make a step up, whether you do it big steps or gradually. And I think custom paint jobs and kit bashing, you know, is 
and anyone can agree with me, is the next step up from out of the box. Um, I personally am not into kid bashing yet, because I am a lazy modeler. <laughs> and uh, personal colors, personal recoloring, I'm all for it. Like, currently I'm trying to figure out what the versus Z color scheme is. And I might just go with my color scheme of my profile channel thing, profile page. Um, which is uh, dark dark gray, black, um, some dark blue, and a little bit of white and light gray. See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm also not into uh, three color scheme, like, you know, red, white, blue, or what is it? Red, white, blue, yellow, gray. I'm more into like a multi-color, but still kind of in the same spectrum color scheme, like, you know, grays, blacks, for example, you know, grays, blacks, um, and whites, so like maybe two or three different shades of grays, two or, diff th two or three different shades of blacks, and, you know, two or three different shades of blue. Uh, I'm just more into that, because I think it adds more detail to the different parts. Uh, best example would be color separation on a real grade. That's, if real grades never existed, I probably would have gotten a Master 8 One Year War version of the R78 too and done that. Uh, what actually inspired me to be so color separate, whatever it is, uh, was Perfect Grade Strike, because I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Perfect Grade Strike has two or three different shades of white, very much like the real grade RX-78 too. Um, yeah. Last question, the CH dubs, big brain fart. Um, what mobile suits would you love to see get made into model kits? Only because I've been watching Gundam Wing, um, I want to see a lot of their best produced mobile suits um, be made into high grades and mass grades if possible. Um, I would definitely like a Taurus and oh, what is it? The Taurus and Virgo um, mobile suits. Also Mercurius and V8. Uh, since Darren, no getting stuff. Since Derringer ahead of Rumor Mill in the uh, Gundam Eclipse forums. He mentioned that there might be a possible high-grade after Colony Wing Zero, which is very interesting. And if that does happen, I'm expecting an Epion. Uh, you know, Tall Geese, a lot, lots of mobile suits in that series that deserve, uh, you know, a re revamped high-grade treatment and new Master Raid treatment, which, which you know, the Master Raid aspect of that is already happening uh, Gundam-wise, but I'd like to see, like, a Master Raid Leo or, or something, you know? Uh, cool, that should be it. That's the updates for this week. So, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to continue working on Raphael and whatever I can work on with the unicorns because I need to finish them. And, uh, yeah, that should be all. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.